All right, hello everyone. This is Noelle Cruz, Presidential Diamond of BitWorks Global. Thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your Wednesday to hop on and learn some tips. Um, it is the Wednesday before Black Friday sales, and we are going to be having a very quick popcorn Zoom today talking to people um, who have been signing customers, signing distributors, and they are going to be giving you their best tips and what they've been doing. Um, so if you haven't already, grab a pen and a piece of paper, get ready to take down these tips and start implementing them right away. So the first person we're going to talk to um, is Marie Jones. So let me just get her unmuted really quick. So Marie, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can. Keep talking. Yay! You're Thank a little you. bit muffled. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm in the car. That's probably why. Can you still hear me? I can. I got you. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay, so tell everyone who you are, um, where you're from, how long you've been in the business, and your range. Okay, I'm Marie Jones. I'm a diamond, and I've been in for three years now, and I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. Awesome. So, Marie, do you do this full-time or part-time? Full-time. Okay, so how many hours a day do you feel like you put into your business? Um, let's see. I do an hour before my kids wake up at 5 a.m., and then I do an hour during nap time, which is 1 to 2. Then I do mostly after bedtime, so like around 8 is mostly work, so probably between 5 to 7 hours since nighttime I kind of don't sleep. So, you know, I mean, right. I can tell you that I don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So, um, how many loyal customers or distributors have you enrolled this month? And give us some tips. Um, I have enrolled four loyal customers the, in literally my, the first week of November. Um, and now everybody's waiting for the Black Friday sales to see what's going on. So, all my potentials are waiting. Um, I, my two tips are, so this year, after having our second baby and my husband being deployed I dedicated the whole year that he's gone to do multiple 90-day challenges um so I just finished my first 90-day challenge and literally that's how I got all of my first four customers in November um because I kept consistently posting month one month, month two and I just posted month three today um and every time someone talks about having a headache or having some type of issue, the first thing that comes out of my mouth is any of our products. So I definitely um, recommend learning some of your favorite products. And when you like listen to people when they're having conversations, especially during Thanksgiving, um, you're gonna hear a lot of people talk about, oh, I probably shouldn't eat that because of the carbs. So automatically tell them about fat fighters. Um, my family is all on greens because I do not shut up about the greens and everyone needs to be on the greens. So I just tell everybody about the greens and how they need to be on it because nobody can tell me straight in the face that they take eight servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. And I'm a vegetarian and I barely do that. So I still have to have greens every day. Um, so that's my tip, just learning your product and listening to people's conversations, especially during the holidays, because you're going to hear those key words and you're going to know, like, if you know your product, you're going to be like, oh, you need to be on this and just have a testimony behind it. And that's how I've been getting my customers. That's so good. I love that tip because it's lifestyle. Like you have found what you love. You've learned a little bit about the product. And then whenever somebody mentions that thing that they need, you can say, oh my gosh, you've got to try this. That's awesome. Okay. Yep. Well, thank you so much for your tip, Marie. Um, let me see if I can You're welcome. Thank you. You might have to mute yourself. Okay, you guys. Um, next person we're going to talk to is um, Stephanie Sutton. Stephanie Sutton, where are you at? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me okay? We're in the car. Yes, I got you. Everybody's in the car. It's okay. <laughs> so tell everyone who you are and where you're from and how long you've been in the business. You're rank. Okay. Um, I'm Stephanie Sutton, and this is my husband, Jake Sutton, my driver for the day. 
And we've been in the business um, two years, a little over two years. We're double diamonds and we're from Canton, Ohio. Okay, so um, do you work this business full-time or part-time? Full-time. With, um, I would say I work this business full-time, but I don't, I don't spend hours and hours and hours and hours a day doing this. I, I really feel like every, I'm trying um, every day to work smarter, not harder. So I find the cracks of my time um, throughout the day because even though I do this full time, um, husband still has a business and we have an eight daughter. And so I personally try to work this into my everyday life. So I feel like for me personally, um, doing like little 30 minute bursts or little hour bursts here and there throughout the day, you know, like in the morning and then responding to messages throughout the day. And then in the evening, obviously when Riley's in bed, that's when, you know, when everyone's on Facebook and stuff, but, um, and then I'm just responding to stuff throughout the day, but I'm not sitting down for like 12 hours nonstop, like not living my life. I work this into my lifestyle. That's awesome. Okay. So, um, how many customers or distributors have you signed this month? 12 loyal customers and I'm supposed to be signing up a distributor right now sometime today, but 12 loyal customers. And, um, I'm a big social media person. Um, but those loyals, except I think two of them all came from a really big expo we did, um, this month. So I, I want to preface, I do a lot on Facebook. I do a lot on social media. Um, I think it's wonderful and reaching out and talking to people and sending messages. But my, my, the majority of my, um, loyals this month have actually come from that expo. So my tip would be if you are used to being behind your computer and you're used to, um, you know, talking to people on social media, look for some local events or some, you know, like craft things or some holiday events, things that you're maybe your kids schools and do some events so that you can get in front of large groups of people. We actually do, this is the third year we do, um, we did this expo. There's like 30,000 people that go through it. And obviously we don't talk to that many people, but we do talk to like hundreds, if not thousands of people. And so not only did we sign up that many loyals, but I have like hundreds of leads to go through and talk to for the Black Friday. So when you do like an event or a craft show or a holiday thing, or even just a wrap party guys, and you're getting in front of multiple groups, you know, multiple numbers of people it really helps to be like like I said work smarter not harder you're you're in front of so many more people and honestly we gave out coffee samples at that event and so if you're able to let them sample it I feel like it was huge because now they know what it tastes like and they were like super excited about it they had never heard of it so guys if you're not utilizing the keto coffee I would definitely do that that's so good. Okay. So talk to us about your event for just a second. How did you find it? Like, how would you recommend people find events? What should they look for? Um, once they're there, what should they bring? So the expo we just did was a really big expo. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a small one, but I have done like quarter auctions or craft shows or holiday, like like little, like, um, almost like little shopping events. I've done a lot of that stuff. The thing that most people at those events that I've noticed is that a lot of people expect to be able to take it with them. So like they're used to like cash and carry with a Avon, Mary Kay, um, origami Owl. A lot of those places have cash and carry guys. And obviously like I sold little coffee packs for $4, but like that wasn't my main goal. My main goal was to let them try the coffee. And then I always, when I do that, my show, I always have a 40% off show special, which is our loyal customer program. So when I talk to them about that, I made it sound like, listen, like the beauty of our business. And I literally would say this to people because what I feel like some people feel uneasy about is, okay, well, what if they want to take it with them today? Like they want to take that bag with them. And I'm like, you're more than welcome to, but it's $65. And that's not really the way you want to do it. The beautiful thing about our company is that I don't have to keep stock. I run my business all from my phone and I can travel all around the country and it ships right to your doorstep. So we're almost like an Amazon for health and wellness products. So it's actually going to ship to your door and it's only going to be 
$1,000. And what I will do for you is I'll actually extend that show special over the next three, over the next two months. So in November or in December and January, you're going to either get the, the coffee like you want, or you can pick one of any of the other 40 products, 40, 50 products we have. And then once that three months is up, I'm actually going to make sure that you get that 40% off show special for life and you can order as you want. And so like, I feel like it's really important to stress to them the convenience of it shipping to their door. They don't have to run out of it. They don't have to go to the store. They don't have to worry about that. And like, um, when you want to find shows like that, you can go on Facebook and find them in certain Facebook, like, uh, community groups. You can go on, technically you could go on the internet and search for like, um, craft shows or holiday shows in your area. Facebook has a lot of groups where you can find those things. The expo we did is the only, we knew about it from another company, Jake knows, and it, there's like hundreds of vendors there. So you can do ones that are bigger or smaller. The big one we just did, we included with our team. And so they, we had people from our team um, with us those days. It was a three day long event. So, um, and it was pretty expensive, but what I, what, if you're going to do an event, I mean, you can keep it super simple guys. Like I would have little lead sheets. Um, I would have, um, I would have, I would honestly have wraps. I would have the coffee. If you can sample the coffee, you're obviously going to have to have like electricity or if it, it depends, you know, it's going to depend, you know, but if anybody is looking to honestly do like expos or like a, a big event, you're more than welcome to private message me and I will answer any questions you have because they can be as simple or as in-depth as you really want them to be. But honestly, I got a lot of my tips from Melody McFarland because she did the same sort of setup um, at my at her event that I did at mine. And so I got a lot of stuff from her. So feel free to message me if you guys ever have questions about like the details of that. I love it. It's so good. It's, you know, hands on belly to belly. You would need the electric kettle. So you need, you know, you, you need the, you need the electricity, but other than that, so simple, but yeah, you guys message mm -hmm. Stephanie. Um, Melissa Rollerson is also one who does a ton of expos, built her business almost exclusively using expos and her setups are just incredible. So um, message them. Thank you so much, Stephanie. And I know that you guys are going to continue to blow it up for black Friday. Okay, you guys, the next person we're going to talk you. to is Tiffany Mojica. Unmute Tiffany. Hey, how are you? Good. good. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so <laughs> introduce yourself to everyone. Tiffany Mojica, Triple Diamond. I have, will be, I always say in, it sounds like I'm like in jail. I will be part of the company um, five years, the end of January. Awesome. So are you working this full time or part time? Full-time. Full-time. How many hours a day do you feel like you put in? Um, now? <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm back to working my business? Yeah. Um, I would say three to five. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. For real. I know yeah. how much you work. You probably work at least five hours a day. <laughs> um, okay. How many, um, how many loyals have you enrolled so far this month? And where did they come from? And what's a tip that you can give us? So this month has been four. Um, a couple didn't go through on the ticket, so darn it, but I'll, I'll close them. Um, we'll, we'll get that figured out. But um, my these ones came from, these ones were all social media. These ones were all um, Facebook, I think. I'll have to look at the names. I'm sorry. My brain is mumble jumbled. Um, either Facebook or Instagram. I think they're all, I think they're all from Facebook. Book. Yes. Okay. So what is your tip that you can give us for signing loyals? My tip. So my tip has been what I've really noticed because in the past I felt like I was really busy and that was because I wasn't working and getting new leads. Now that I am working my business every single day, I have a ton of new leads that I don't have to be so pushy with people. Well, I don't have to be to where I feel like I'm being pushy with people. Um, and another thing is, is these ones all just came to me from being me and being a product of the product on social media. So um, I get a lot of people that like my energy, that like, that just, you know, they happen to see it and they, they, they came to me this time <laughs> for these ones. And that's, that's really, truly just from being a product of the product again. 
So, so Tiffany, you do live videos and your live videos and your posts are just like you said, like they love your energy. Your energy is contagious and your live videos are absolutely amazing because you're just real and raw and you're like, I just got out of the gym and I'm a sweaty hot mess. And like, you know, like you're just doing your thing and people are so attracted to that. So can you give us a tip? for doing some live videos? Cause I know that you just did a live and somebody's interested in becoming a customer. Um, I think that's it for me is just being real people. I've got a lot of people that have messaged me and said, thank you for being you. And thank you for not always looking the best, <laughs> you know, thank you for, you know, when you got to run away and go help your kids or when you look a hot mess. Um, so it really is truly just being you. Um, because people, you'll attract, you'll, you'll attract like-minded people. And for me, that's important for the business too, or the people that may be struggling. And if you're struggling, I don't think there's anything wrong with sharing that. Like if you're struggling with a certain thing in your life, whether it be um, your weight or with, um, um, okay, so let me, I'm a big believer in not airing your dirty laundry, but also not making sure that people know that you are real, that things do happen in life. So I think that's, that's, just really important is just being you. Truly is just, just being you. Yeah. I think that's so and good. Hot it's authentic. Yeah. You know. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank <laughs> you so much. I know that you are getting ready to close those other two loyals. The credit card did not work. So, and Black Friday is coming. So good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. You guys, the next person we're going to talk to is Joanne Tucker. Let me find her. Joanne, I'm going to unmute you. Are you there? I am. How are you? I'm good. Good. Well, thanks so much for being on today. Okay, so introduce yourself to everyone, who you are, where you're from, and how long you've been in the business, and your rank. Okay, so I'm Joanne Tucker. I'm from a small town called Mooresville, North Carolina, and I've been in the company for two years as of January 15th. Awesome. And what's your rank? I'm an executive shooting hard for Ruby. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And your activity is totally showing that. Okay. So how many loyals have you enrolled so far this month? So far I've enrolled six and um, I moved one. So I'm technically only counting it at five. <laughs> No, it counts at six because that goes for your commissions. <laughs> Trust me, I think I moved all of my loyals the first few years because I was promoting like crazy. So, um, no, that's awesome. So you've enrolled six loyals, and didn't you just put? I feel like you just put one in, like right before the Zoom. Yeah, I well last night I signed one for some confianza, and the crazy thing is I just added her as a friend like an hour before that, and she like she liked on one of my posts, so I reached out to her. And I signed her in like 10 minutes. Okay. So walk us through that conversation. Like you added her as a friend, like what happened there? What was that interaction like? So as soon as she accepted my friend request, um, I assumed she creeped my page cause she went several posts down and she, all she did was like it. And so, um, I was going through my notifications and I clicked on it and seen that she had showed some love. So I reached out and I was like, Hey girl, thanks so much for the friend request exception. Um, I noticed that you were showing some love and support on my post. Was this something that you were by chance interested in? And she said, yes. Yeah. So I was like, great. I was like, so what exactly would you be using the confianza for? So I found out she was a college student and that she needed it because she's really stressed. And so I told her that typically the product retails and then um, I could get it on her for her at a 90 day challenge cost of my discount counted price. So I kind of like compared the two prices together and she said she was ready to order. Like I was shocked. She was just ready to get started. So I went ahead and asked her for her information and I got her signed up. That's so good. Like, I'm really simple. There's two things you did there that I think are just really, really on point. So the first thing you did is you reached out to somebody who engaged in your post and you didn't reach out to her assuming that she wanted to buy it, but you did reach out to her to ask if she was interested. You also thanked her for the friend request. Like, I think that that's, that's something that's huge. The other thing that you did was you asked her what she would be using it for and didn't just jump right into the sale because what if she... Go talk to your sister. I'm almost done. 
what if she, um, you know, she thought she needed it, but really she needed something else. So you asked her, you know, what would you be using this for? And when you guys can ask simple questions like that, it's going to make the person who's your potential, it's going to make them more confident in you as a distributor, because they're going to know that you now know what you're talking about as far as opposed to just pushing products. So I think that's huge. Um, so I know that you have a ton more people lined up for Black Friday sales. Um, so how many hours a day would you say that you work your business? Do you do this full time or part time? I definitely do it full time. Um, I put in a lot more work than everybody else. It seems like I might be overdoing myself, but um, I'm kind of it works addicted. So I'm constantly engaging. Uh, messaging people. I'm buffering everything to set up the night before so I can put more income producing activities into my day. And I'm setting really big goals for myself that I'm surprised that I'm able to reach. So um, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. I've been rolling them left and right now. Like before I would struggle, I would do good to get two customers a month. So this has definitely been a change for me and I've been consistent. So it's made a difference. That's awesome. Um, so how do you work your business um, primarily? Do you do social? Uh, through social media. Okay. Yeah. I'm more Facebook than Instagram. Um, I'm trying to convert over to Instagram. It's not really my thing, but um, I'm definitely trying to put some more effort into that. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, good. Well, I am so excited for you. Thanks so much for being on and for giving us your tips. Thanks. All right. Um, okay, you guys, the next person we're going to talk to is Mary Peralta. Let me just find Mary. Mary, you are unmuted. Are you there? Hi, Noelle. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so tell everyone who you are, where you're from, how long you've been in the business, and your rank. So my name is Mary Peralta. I'm Triple Diamond. I've been in the business for four and a half years now, and I'm from California. Awesome. So, Part-time or full-time for you? Full-time. Full-time. Awesome. So how many hours a day do you feel like you work your business? I'm sorry, what was that? How many hours a day do you feel like you work your business? I want to say about six. I lost my. Um, I think Stephanie Sutton said it best where she said, you know, I used to work my business a lot, guys. I felt like I was working 10 to 12 hours a day. And hi, thank you, Tiffany. I felt like I was working 10 to 12 hours and I was not smart about my business. I was just rolling, I was doing a lot of non income producing activities and my day just went. So my just, just my, I felt like I was doing so much and I was really doing nothing. Like I wasn't doing, I wasn't messaging. I was just being, I was busy being busy, but then it started taking a toll on me. So I was like, okay, I need to structure myself again. And like Steph said, I need to work smart. So what I did is I think one of the things that we lack in this business, especially if we are full time is discipline. So I told myself, I, I do work my business here and there throughout the day. But what I'm doing right now that's really working for me is like a quick time management tip is my kids are in school from 8 to 2 o'clock. So what I do in the morning, yeah, I'll post, I'll check in with the team, do all that stuff. But I work from 10 to 2. Those are my work hours. So I sit at my kitchen table and it's those are my nonstop work hours. I have a list of things I have to do with like business people, check in with the team. So I do all that. And through the evening... I'll just answer throughout the day. I'm answering messages, answering the team and doing all this stuff. But my structure to work time is from 10 to two o'clock. Another tip is there's days that I've sat at my table for, I want to say four or five, six hours nonstop. I read, um, I got this coaching program and they said every 50 minutes you have to get up. So I literally have a timer and I tell myself that like we do the power hours for 50 minutes. Mary, you, you cannot answer messages. You cannot go on Facebook. You're just going to message for another 50 minutes. You're going to check in with all of your team. So I have a timer after that timer goes off. I get up for 10 minutes, shake it off and come back and get to work again. So that's kind of, that's something that's working for me and it's been great. I've been getting so much more done and I feel like I'm working like half the hours that I was working before. I love that. So you could literally sit down and work for 50 minutes, maybe get up for eight to 10 minutes and like 
do some exercise, like do some physical exercise and like kind of, you know, get re-energized, get some blood flowing and then sit back down and work for another 50 minutes. Right. I think that's absolutely amazing. Okay. So how many people have you enrolled so far this month? I've enrolled six loyal so far and um, two distributors. Awesome. Okay. So how do you work your business? What are you doing? What are your tips? My number one tip and I want to put it out right now is consistency. Guys, every single person that I've messaged, I do a lot of follow-ups, a lot, a lot of follow-ups. Um, I, I go through bursts. I'm not going to tell you. I just told my cousin, I had a point in my business where I wasn't even messaging people because I was like, oh my God, that's not my thing. I'm more like a party girl. So I was like, you know what? If I tell myself to message 25, 30 people a day, I'm not going to do it. So what I'm doing is I'm doing my follow-ups because I have a master list. After four and a half years, you have a lot of leads. So let's say you, you're not in four and a half years, but you have a list of 50 leads. There's so many people that you could follow up with. So what I'm doing, all of this is consistency, guys. Sometimes you're going to feel like you're posting like you're doing right now with the Facebook algorithms that they suck so much. Um, like nobody likes your stuff. It's just consistency. Everybody messaged me like, hey, girl, I've been watching you for a year. I wanted to buy this. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. What I'm doing right now, I took an hour today, and this is a message that I'm sending out. Um, I'll post it on the chat. And this is why I'm doing this. So pretty much right now, like I said, I'm going through my follow-ups and this is what I'm sending. I know that Black Friday deals are coming up and like this, I, there's a lot of scripts out there, guys. There's a lot of wording, but this is something that I feel comfortable with. It's like, hey girl, how are you, how are you doing, beautiful? Um, I know, I always use their first name. If you've read the book, um, How to Win Friends and Influence People, people love to hear their first name. So I always use um, their first name and it's like, hey Mary, how are you doing, beautiful? I know you were interested at one point in our hair, skin, and nails. I have one spot left for the 90-day challenge. Are you ready? So I'm sending that today. My goal, I really believe that if you are intentional with your day, if I say today I'm going to sign up a loyal, I will not go to bed till I sign a loyal. So my goal for the Black Friday is I want to sign 20 loyals. So what I'm doing to prep for that is I'm sending out this message today knowing that they're not going to tell me yes. So then when they ignore me, I'll be like, Hey girl, you know what? I know I didn't hear back from you. I just wanted to let you know that we have the black Friday sales going on. Let's say she tells me, Oh, you know what? I'm still interested in hair, skin and nails girl. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Are you ready to order now? If she is, I'm going to take that order and then I'm going to do another order for black Friday. If she's not, I'm going to message her again on Friday and let her know like, Oh my God, girl, I know you were interested in hair, skin and nails. They're on sale right now for whatever. I don't know if they're going to be on sale, but if they're not on sale, it's like, Oh my God, I know you just, you were interested in HSM, but guess what? The, the cleanse is buy one, get one free or the wraps are buy one, get one free. So this way, when it's the follow-up, it's not like, oh my God, I'm attacking them or I'm, uh, or I'm like annoying them. No, that's what I'm going to do today. I have 50 people that I know I've been following up with. It takes seven to 10 exposures, guys. So I'm doing one today and I'm going to do the closer on Friday. That is so, so good. I love it. So, so many good tips. You guys, I just got like an entire Zoom's worth of information just from Mary. That was awesome. Um, okay, would you do me a quick favor? And if you can, I don't know if you have the ability. If you don't, don't worry about it. If you could post your like initial like like follow up that you're doing now pre Black Friday special. If you could post that in the chat, um, that would be awesome. If you don't have it written down, that's fine. But if you could, that would be great. People could grab it. They can customize it to what they're. Right. Yeah. And that would be amazing um, because I love that. And then when you are following back up with them for the Black Friday specials, um, you know, you say, you know, hey girl, I didn't hear back from you. I know you were interested in this, but guess what? We have this special. And I can't even tell you how many customers I've signed using that exact method because people think that they want one thing, but really they've got their eye on like 15 things. They just can't afford it. So they're going to grab whatever is the best deal at the time that they've been looking at. So that is awesome. Exactly. And you know, we are an emotional buy. So if people buy stuff that's on sale all the time, things you don't need. So it's like, I just messaged you. So now you are going to get something else because it's on sale. Another quick tip to that, when I'm sending the follow-up, like let's say I'm sending the follow-up for hair, skin and nails, which is the one I'm doing a lot right now. I'm sending a before and after picture also. So make sure you include a picture because even if they don't read your message, the picture is going to catch their attention. And there's so many people that want to grow their hair and like do all that good stuff. So the picture, I feel like because people are so visual, they'll, I have a lot better closing rate when I send them, when I include the picture. 
I love that. So actually what I'm going to have you do is for the people that are on the Zoom right now, um, instead of posting it here in the, um, in the comments of the chat, if you could actually post it on my Zoom link on Black Diamond, kind of like a breakdown of what you do, okay. that would be amazing. And then everybody who's attending right now will know that they can go check that out. They can go check out that post and that you'll post kind of what you're doing and they can just restructure it to sound, you know, to be their personal script. That would be awesome. Sounds well, thank good. you so much. I have no doubt that you're going to sign 20 more loyals for Black Friday. You've got this. I have to. I have to. That's a lot of Christmas cash, you guys. <laughs> awesome. Okay, you guys. Well, the last person we're going to talk to today is Melissa Hart. So, Melissa, are you there? Hi, I'm here. How are you? I'm good. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Everybody's in their car today. Um, okay, so Melissa, tell everyone who you are, where you're from, how long you've been in the business, and what your current rank is. So my name is Melissa, and I am from Gallatin, Tennessee. I've been in the business, will be two years in February. I can't believe that. Um, and I am a Ruby pushing strongly for Emerald. Awesome. Okay, so do you do this full-time or part-time? I still have a full-time job, so I do it part-time. Awesome. So how many hours a day are you putting in with your, you know, having this be part-time for you? Um, I wake up an hour before my daughter and do at least 30 minutes, sometimes an hour in the morning, and then message throughout the day if when I can um, to respond to those messages, and then at least two hours before bed. So about mm -hmm. three, I guess. That's awesome. That's so good. That's so good. Okay. So how many, um, how many loyals or distributors have you signed so far this month? I have signed six loyals and one distributor. Awesome. Okay. So what is your primary method of signing people? Well, it used to be Facebook. Um, and I'm still working Facebook, but every enrollment I've had this month has been from my work on Instagram. Um, which I just started working Instagram hard in the last like two and a half months, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I just, I still can't believe it. <laughs> That's great. So what are you doing on Instagram? So if these loyals came from Instagram. What are you doing? What are you sending? What's your activity like? Um, I guess the biggest thing I feel like on Instagram is adding new people every single day. And um, the polls, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen like the trainings and stuff, but those Instagram polls are life, I swear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have gotten, um, I know at least four of them came from the polls, four of my loyals, and my distributor actually, actually came from one of my polls as well. So you guys can ask anything. You can post pictures and ask any question you want. And I know me personally, like instead of it being yes or no, um, like if I'm asking about hair, skin, and nails, what my options for the poll would be like, uh, yes, I'm in or give me more information. So I'm never giving them a no option whenever they are voting on my poll. And then you can see who votes so you can go message those people. Yeah. And it's a, it's a positive, it's, it's a double positive response. Give me more info or yes, I'm totally in. I love that. Great. So that's good. So how many times a day are you posting on Instagram? Um, I was posting like, I don't know, eight to 10 times a day, just kind of like Facebook. Um, but now I'm posting no more than six times a day. And I feel like I'm getting more engagement that way. Yeah. And how many people are you messaging a day? At least 50. Um, since this, like since the sale and stuff, I've, my number has been a hundred, mm -hmm. um, but no less than 50. That's awesome. I love it. That's so good. Okay. So is there any specific tips that you can give, um, for signing customers, signing distributors? The poll tip was huge. Mm -hmm. Honestly, something super simple that, and I'm very green, but somewhere down the line, I became a lot more red. <laughs> and so I stopped writing people's names down every time they would respond or every time we would talk. And so people just fall between the cracks. Mm -hmm. And the last like four months, um, even if they just respond and they're not ready right now, or, um, you know, they maybe want more information and they, I don't hear back from them. I'm writing those names down in my calendar for the day. And those are, it's just such an easy way for your follow-ups and those people aren't falling through the cracks anymore. I was coming along and seeing like so many people that I had messaged and just forgot to follow up with because I didn't have them written down. So that's really been something that's changed my business, I feel like. 
So are you writing them like on a master list or are you keeping them in your planner? I write them down in my planner every day. Like as they, if they respond that day, that's the day that I write them down. Yeah. Tiffany's showing us her planner. Her planner is nuts. I'm like, Tiffany, your planner, like off the charts. So when you do go for follow-ups, you just have all those names written down. You can just go back page by page by page by page. That's awesome. Yes. I love it. Good. That is so good. Thank you so much for being on today and for sharing your tips. So um, we will talk to you soon. Um, okay. So you guys, um, I'm going to share with you guys just one quick tip um, that I have for signing more loyals. Um, I love that everybody that we have heard from today is executive all the way up to triple diamond. Um, we had a couple of distributors who were slotted to be on here, but they weren't able to be on here. But you guys like, um, we have people, um, you know, we have a distributor that we were going to talk to today who signed eight loyals so far this month. And so your rank does not determine your enrollments. You need to know that whether you are two days into this business or you've been here for five years, you have the ability to do as little or as much as you want. It's really just a matter of your discipline and your activity. So, um, so far this month, I've enrolled six people and um, would like to hit, would have liked for it to be much, much higher. Um, I've had a lot of sickness running through my house, me, my kids, and I'm like trying to figure out like, okay, go give the, go give the baby that just puked a bath, go back and message 20 more people. Oh, she just threw up again. Go message 20 more people. Like that's how I'm literally working my business these days because everything is so crazy. Um, however, one of the things that I'm going to tell you guys to do is to create a plan for people. People will join with you if they, if they see that you have a plan to help the products work. Okay. So for instance, if I have somebody um, who wanted to get started with a stretch mark cream challenge, I will ask them about their stretch marks. Tell me about your stretch marks. Are they old? Are they new? Um, and then they're going to tell me, you know, they're old and they're, they're, they're brown or they're new and they're red. And I'm going to say, okay, great. I have something really great in mind for you for the next three months for us to really tackle your stretch marks. And I'm going to say, okay, the first month we're going to start with the stretch mark cream. The second month we're going to, we're going to order the defining gel. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you use the defining gel once a day and the stretch mark cream once a day. Or if you like, you can combine the two and put that on your belly and it works amazing. And I'm going to tell them why the defining gel works. And then I'm going to say in that third month, we're going to get you on a box of skinny wraps and those wraps help heal stretch marks like crazy because it's the same ingredients in the defining gel, but way more concentrated. Plus it's going to tighten and tone your tummy. How does that sound? And they say, that sounds amazing. Not only are they going to get the stretch mark reduction, they're going to have tighter, firmer skin, and they're going to trim some inches. And they're like, sign me up. Okay. Now, if you can do that with every, with every customer that you're talking to, give them a vision for what you see for them. Okay. Ask them about what their concerns are and then give them a vision and help them accomplish that saying in November, we're going to order this December. We're going to order this January. We're going to order this. And this is the progressive results that I see you getting. They're going to say, absolutely. That sounds fantastic. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Then it's going to be your job to make sure that you follow up with them, make sure they're using their products on a daily basis, make sure they've changed their auto ship, make sure you write down what you recommended to them. And so you continue with that program. And then when people, you guys, the biggest thing is when people get wraps, make sure they're putting them on their body. 90% of people I swear I sign up as loyal customers, they don't open their wraps for months, months. And so I message them and I'm like, Hey, how are your results? And they're like, Oh, I really haven't had time to wrap. So when they get started on wraps, especially if we do a wrap BOGO, make sure you explain to them how simple it is. It takes 60 seconds to put a wrap on. Like the biggest hassle of, of wrapping is taking the before pictures. That's the biggest hassle. It takes no time at all to put a wrap on, shower, put a wrap on, go to bed. Okay. No time at all. So I always simplify it. I'm like, put a wrap on and go to sleep or put a wrap on and go to work. So simple. Just put the wrap on your body. And I follow up with them and I'm like, look, Hey, you know, pick, tell me what day is going to be good for you to wrap. They're like, okay, Sunday's going to be my good day. Okay, great. I'm going to text you on Saturday and remind you that Sunday's your wrapping day and you're going to wrap on Sunday because if they are consistently wrapping every week, they're going to get killer results. They're going to be so happy. They're going to be a repeat customer, possibly a distributor, and they're going to refer you people versus if they become a customer, never touch their product. And then they're like, I'm mad because I wasted money and these products don't work when really you didn't use the products. There's no referrals there. There's no repeat orders. So giving your customers a vision for what they're going to order is 
super, super big. So that's my biggest tip for you guys. Um, Jennifer, that is a question that pertained to our power hour. So I'll answer that um, probably on Black Diamond team. Um, but um, I hope you guys got tons of value out of the Zoom today. I know that I got a ton of tips and I love that everybody on here works their business differently from parties to expos to Facebook to Instagram, messaging, belly to belly. It's so good. Um, and one of the things I personally do is I do a lot of belly to belly. So I will blitz people, I'll meet people and I will just, you know, if somebody really strikes me, I'll just say, you know what, like, you just have such an outgoing personality or you like, you just sparkle when you talk. Have you ever, or, and, and I will, and I'll ask them, do you keep your income options open? And they will say, yes. And I'll say, great. I teach people how to make money from their phone. Would you be interested in learning more about that? And they'll say, absolutely. And then I connect with them. So what I'm doing at that point in time is I'm following up with them and I'm setting up a coffee date. So I actually have five coffee dates set up for when I get back from Virginia for people that I blitz before I left and we're going to get together and we're going to learn a little bit more. I'm not necessarily going to spam those people with the Black Friday stuff because I actually see them all watching me anyway. And I know that if they're interested in it, they will probably message me. I might shoot them a message and just be like, Hey girl, you know, I know that we talked about this before and I know we're getting together for coffee. I just want to let you know this deal is available. If you wanted to take advantage of it, if not, I'll see you on Tuesday, you know, super super casual, but still professional, follow up, set the appointment, keep the appointment, um, but always offer, offer that value to those people. So um, anyway, I hope you guys have an absolute stellar Black Friday. Um, this is going to be a time in your life where you're not going to sleep a lot. You're, your hands are going to be cramping because you're going to be messaging so many people. You should be talking to everybody that you encounter at your Thanksgiving table, you know, shopping, when you're standing in line shopping, you know, Joel Dunn's seven foot rule, anybody within seven feet of you hears about your business, um, you know, be blitzing everybody everywhere you go. People are out spending money. And like Mary said, people are emotional buyers. And so when you can just message them and you've got a killer, killer deal, don't be afraid to message those people, even those people on your chicken list, just send the message and make it as personal as possible. And if they say no, they say no, that's okay. You at least did your job by offering. Okay. When you ask your advertising and you don't want to be super spammy about it, but you do need to actually ask in order to have the sale. So, um, anyway, you guys have an amazing week. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and you can tag me in black diamond team. Mary's going to post that script for us, um, in black diamond as well. And good luck message lots and let us know if you have any questions. You guys have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.